So it's better both when we're going to eat. Well, there's not much choice, is there? Yes, there is. We can have uh, we can have sausage, egg and beans, or uh, sausage and egg. Or alternatively, we can have egg and tin tomatoes on fried bread. Well, why can't everybody just have what they want? Because it don't work like that, does it? You got to you got to abide by the majority's consensus. Otherwise, what have you got? You got anarchy. Look, can I have everyone's attention for a moment? Now, do me a favour, mate. This includes you, Wayne. What does? From my experience, what each hut needs is a leader. Last week, when I was working in Munch and Gladbach, we had a bloke in our hut called called Sid Henderson, Axel, we called him, and he was like democratically elected our leader. That way, we avoided a lot of fruitless debate about who was going to have tin tomatoes. I don't follow. You will in a moment. Now, for example, one night we all wanted to go to the pictures. Some of us wanted to see The Empire Strikes Back, albeit in, in German, and the other lads wanted to see a Swedish sex film. So it was, it was up to Axel, wasn't it? Why does it have to be up to anybody? Because it makes life much simpler in the long run. Oh, we were all unanimous about that anyway. So, uh, you're putting yourself forward, is that it? No, 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 not at all. I mean, that would be that would be a democratic decision by consensus. 